back on the roller gorge. So stoked. Levels have been holding high, but then the last few days cooled. <laughs> off. Levels have been holding on the high side, but then last like day or two, it finally cooled off a little and it's dropping pretty hard. So we're putting in today. It should be right around a thousand and putting on. See how low it gets tomorrow on the way out, but stoked to drop back in there. Roller gorge. We'll see with the water levels, how sandy we plan on getting, but even if you only get one or two drops, it's still a fantastic time. Even if you get no drops, it's a fantastic time, but yeah. Dude, no one thinks you're gonna get no drops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, time to head in. So stoked to drop back in there. It's gonna be a great time. Oh yeah. Woo. Let's get it, boys. I'm excited. But I'm worried, I don't know how I can get my bow to not peach on that wall and then fall into the reconnect. Yeah, I think your stern would hit something. Because when you're boofing, you're really close to the wall. When you lean, you're probably going to be too far left. Walk, one person can walk up just around that ridge and down to that cove. Yeah, yeah. So that way no one's like completely alone when yeah. they go. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Make sure wherever you are, you're not gonna 
flip yourself in. This drop. So there's two two mistakes people always make. I've always noticed watching footage. People come in slow and they hold on a rudder like and they pull and they start drifting left a little and the lip goes pretty flat to bird more than you think. So the best way to do it and, and uh, Evan was always so good about it is coming in and carrying your momentum slightly left to right. Uh -huh. And as you're going off, you want to be just barely next to that wall. Yeah, and then, but your... with a little bit of forward momentum so that way you can really roll it. The people that have weird stuff happen, they float in and then it just falls out from yeah, under them. So what I did last time, I took like four strokes, turned and then literally just like faded it down. I've only ran it once oh. and I went in the cave. And oh, so really? then I melted <laughs> it. I went super deep, like soft the cave good. I'm going to go flake fire on it. Cool. Oh, this man. is higher water than... Uh, then I was here last. It looks like a great level for the plate line. Yeah, I know. Running it? I would like to. I think I'm just gonna One, keep two. Going into it. On the line or running it? I'm running it. Yeah, I'm running it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Are you running it? I think so. Yeah, you? Are you all running it? So that's two. Yeah. My original plan was to back free wheel it. But I, let me, let's just check because we just did an hour and a half rescue. I'll understand if everyone's like, I don't want to risk anything today. Off the flake? Yeah. But. I want to check with the yeah. group, make sure they're okay with Do you want someone in front of you, or you can want to go first with someone else in the pool? Or do you want someone to walk around into the cove? I mean, I wouldn't be, like, you want somebody in front? I wouldn't mind someone in the pool. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Whoa.
back pre reel done heat one and two. Heat one went great, super soft. Honestly, a softer line than like my normal lines last time I ran it. But on heat two, I wanted to kind of like turn and then do it like I normally do it. But right as I was about to go over the lip, I, I hit my stern. So it like sent me in a weird spot. And I was more sideways than I wanted to be. So my timing is a little off. And I didn't really get it like super vertical. It kind of came around a bit. And the problem with not getting it super vertical is it's really hard to get it back down to landing vertical. So I came around a little lower angle than I wanted and ended up coming around all the way to sideways and unfortunately landed flat, but it's still super soft. Yeah, it wasn't that like super steezy over the top landing vertical that I wanted, but still stoked to send it, still stoked that it like was soft. So I had to do it again. I make sure to watch my stern on the wall at the lip. So that way I don't get a little jangled and mess up my timing. All in all, stoked to do those. All right, so about five of us have run it. We got half the group is done, half the group still needs to run it. There's a few people portaging. Let's hope that's the last of the drama for the heat waterfall today. We got four more people to go. Let's hope they have good luck. that. <laughs> a lot of speed. No! What the fuck? Yeah! Yeah! All right, two down, two to go. I mean, I said that the best line to carry your speed helps a lot. Oh, yeah! Woo! Now, Jack! Yeah! Woo! Woo! <laughs> he hit his nose, but I think it's okay. That's a lot of blood, but good to see a bloody nose. No more people in the cave, now we can move on. Today's not done, we still have the whole gorge. Head on down, finish the day off of Rattlesnake. So let's be back in here. Like you're sliding down like this. Yeah.
Everybody's making it look good. My turn. I've had my 10 years. Last rock group of the day. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. Melting yeah. it. Oh. Yeah. What a ridiculous day of kayaking. Royal Gorge is just so epic. So we got everyone through all the big drops. So stoked to be back in here. We'll see if that other group catches up to us if they're gonna want to run some laps on rattlesnake, but for our group, we're done. Last time I did the eddy on rattlesnakes, so I was stoked to do the entrance this time. Definitely adds a little bit of flavor to this drop. I had one of the softest hits I've had in a long time on a drop here. And now, time to set up camp, relax, enjoy one of the best spots. So stoked to be back in here, let's go. Got a nice little bit of time to relax, set up camp. And after a little bit of time, the group behind us caught up. And one of the best parts about camping at a stout, you get to watch more people do it and they catch up. Got three of them here, they're fired up to send it. We're gonna go set safety. The sad news for that group is that they actually put on with six. And I guess they lost one person on the some of the entrance rapids, his boat broke. And then the guy got stuck in the cave at Heath too. He decided to hike out there. And then I guess on a few rapids upstream, I guess one of the guys swam there and wasn't feeling it anymore. So he hiked out as well. That is one. Hell of a mission for that group, but glad we were able to help where we could. They still got three of them. The good news about this run, there's a lot of trails that come in, so as long as you find yourself to the right trail, you can get out. They still got three of them, and they're here at Rattlesnake, and they're gonna send it. When we ran the entrance at high water, two people almost fucking hit the wall, too. Yeah. I see, like, that curler's super powerful. For your first lap, I think it's just so sick out of the eddy. Uh, it's pretty fucking iconic, dude. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Woo! That was a nice line. Three good lines. One helmet got ripped off in a swim, but still great lines. I'm back to camp. Yeah. Dan, do you remember your upper brush experience? What do you think, Brady? Here? Right on the fire. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh no. That one will be mine. <laughs> and it had two strips of cheese. Is it still a quesadilla or? Yeah, man. Such an epic campsite. Such an epic day. So many sick rapids, drop, booths, and then so sick how you can just finish with rattlesnake right there. Hike back up. One of the best campsites. Basically, since the last time I was here, I've been wanting to maybe do the back free wheel. Definitely on heat one, and then I've been kind of contemplating heat two. And when we got there and the water levels were looking good, I was like, definitely a good time for it. So if they came together, I think I could clean up the heat two back free wheel, but I'm gonna take it for what it was. Yeah, now it's time to get some rest because at that corner is Scotch Drop. The levels were dropping hard because the nights were getting really cold and tonight's gonna be really cold. So I'm very curious to see what the water levels do tomorrow. There's definitely a chance that we could put on tomorrow, get to Scotch and it's uh, really low. Or we'll get there and it'll just be on the low side and potentially looking good, but in the end, don't know until we get there. So looking forward to relaxing tonight, enjoying the fire, getting some sleep. Curious to see what flows we have tomorrow, but even if it goes super low, today was already epic. Yeah, so stoked we came back in here. Let's see what tomorrow brings. Stoked, let's go. No, it's like perfect. Breakfast. Always soaked to wake up on this river. Now, I don't know why I said always. I've only been in here once. <laughs> <laughs> Sun's hitting camp. Time to pack up. Back on the water. Let's go.
get on top of it, touch one left, you come onto it and hold that left knee, yeah. and then pull. Think about Cobra flipping this for like two years. Probably a good flow for it. I know. I was wondering if you were going to think about it. thinking about cobra flipping this being back it's like oh i love how much everyone's getting a hit by the curler which is good i think if i get my ass on the curler that thing's coming around isaac's gonna go and then carson and i'm gonna try to finish it off strong yeah watch your bow Mitch in my stroke, but then I hit my head on the lip and I was like, but then I was like, at least I'm around. <laughs> well, really worried that I was gonna get super airborne and land on my head because I would miss the stroke. So I was like, coming around is way better than landing on my head. So I rolled a little early, didn't get as much of a pull. Kind of hit my head on the lip a little bit actually, but then I was able to pull it around and I think that had a lot of flow around me. Landed, was right where I wanted to be for the second drop. Oh, that was. <laughs> All right, boys. Yeah! Alright, and then when we're That's actually a solid hunt first. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
where you want to be, just feel it out, but just absorb the kicker. So as long as you're moving left to the lip and down the pipe, I think it should be a smooth transition. Good line, boys. Fuck yeah, boys. Fuck yeah. Let's finish off strong. I'll try to make it look good for you. such a sick few days. Definitely a lot of different things happening in two days, whether it's from rescues, swims, sick lines, all sick stuff. Stoked to get another flush. Coming into this lap, I, I was like, couldn't decide whether or not to go hard or just have a more chill one. But when you get to these drops, then it's not like pretty much the perfect flow like we had. But the challenge just looks so fun. I knew I wanted a back free wheel Heath one. I was contemplating the back wheel on heat too, depending on water level, then water level looked good. But then the Cobra on Scott's, I, it's been on my mind literally since I ran it two years ago. And it's like, every time I go back to it and think about it, I'm like, I know it'll probably go really good. I'm so stoked how it ended up going. I didn't get as much air as I wanted, but I was a little worried that if I committed to going for too much air, that I would maybe like whiff my stroke and land on my head, which that was not an option considering what the second drop is. Came together, I got super swallowed by the flow, kind of hit my head a little bit on the lip, but I had a lot of water to pull on, so I was able to pull it around, landed nice and flat, landed exactly where I wanted for the second drop, and it would. And at that point, I was like, I gotta do the flush again. I, it's like, it's just so fun. Wabina is always a savage end because you get done with Scott and you're like, ah, we still have Wabina, but, but that whole moving left at the lip of Wabina just makes the transition so much better. I got super swallowed by the flow, took a little bit of a hit, but yeah, that was epic. Last time I did the flush, I was the only one that wanted to run everything. So this time getting to do it with a good crew, had a lot of these other guys get their flush for the first time, made it such an epic trip. So I'm stoked, get Sandy, get that down from a freestyle I've been wanting to do here for a while but also got to do a flush with a bunch of people and just a good crew. Yeah, that was an all time trip. So stoked for all good, everybody's feeling great. Now, relax for a few minutes, but can't relax for too long because we got about eight hours of kind of easier white water and make all the way out to the takeout. That was an all time Royal Gorge lap. Stoked to get the flush again. Really excited to see what happens for the rest of the season. Stoked, let's go.